I feel like it's pretty safe to say that right now, anime games are the biggest genre in Roblox. I mean, take a quick peek at the front page, and you probably see a bunch of anime games that are pulling way more numbers than any game on Steam. And as somebody who's been on this platform for about 12 years, give or take, I've seen so many different types of anime games. I mean, we've had tycoons, simulators, tower defense games, and you know, everybody's favorite type of anime game, the bandit beaters. And other than that, there's also... Now what I define as a battleground game is a game where a group of people join the server and then proceed to guess what? Heat the shit out of each other. The thing about these games and the biggest reason as to why they're popular is usually in the combat system which typically are fun and reward players who invest time into learning them. At least that's how it's supposed to be. Fuck you! Fuck you! Well it's over. And if not that then I don't know. You get to play as Goku? And in today's video, I'll be talking about battleground games I've played throughout the years. Some which are new, others are older, and others are way, way older. And I'll be rating them on a subjective tier list based on my own personal enjoyment, starting with... Nom, nom, nom. When I first started playing Roblox back in 2011, oh, Naruto Battlegrounds was one of the first games I've ever played, and coming back to it now, wow, this is a two-pack of ass. ass. Obviously that game did not age well considering it's a very old fucking game. <laughs> and a testament to how old it is, here's a 15 year old video of somebody playing this game while Hey There Delilah plays in the background. Hey there Delilah. Can't go any longer cause I wanna keep my YouTube channel. <laughs> now for Naruto Battlegrounds gameplay itself, I find it incredibly hard to describe. So instead of talking about it, how about I show you a montage instead. What, what did I even- what, did I, what the fuck even am I, bro? Manga, you showing gun. <laughs> Yo, you're so fast. <laughs> Alright, bro, you cannot run for me now. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah! <laughs> this is my Renegon Sasuke. <laughs> hey, don't run. Don't run, don't run. Get ready to explode, bro. I'm probably gonna sue the developer of this game. Come on, Akamaru! <laughs> see, I don't know what the fuck that is, but I <laughs> the ninth is, that's for sure, bro. I'll see, you notice how this game has a suicide button. <laughs> okay, Shidori. Bra Sangan! You really gotta get stronger, bro. The game is buggy, the game is broken, the game looks like shit, and the game is a 10 out of 10. Z tier. Nom, nom, nom. Bleach Battlegrounds Shinigami Blasted Lands was one of the very first Bleach games on the platform and to this day, probably one of the best too. I remember the game having like a giant roster of characters, all with their own moves, models and transformations. One of the things that I remember that I always used to do in this game was just fucking spamming Mugetsu and everybody I see. Another really cool thing I remember about this game is how we used to basically have like Megazord battles and you just see the bricks flying from the models every time they got fucking hit. Another really neat thing I remember is how you could like seal players if you were using Kisuke and they couldn't do shit in the game unless they rejoined. So yeah, pretty much anything you'd see in the anime back then was probably in this game, which was really fucking cool. And I remember the combat in this game basically just being, you know, basic like Roblox sword fighting mixed with like bleach abilities, which a game from 2011, that wasn't really that bad to be honest. Uh, here's the question though, how well does this game hold up today? Well, uh, I guess we'll never find out because apparently the game is deleted from the website. And also the owner has been on the website lately, but apparently he also hates it and he's never coming back. There is an open copy with the game though, but that shit does not work. So on the tier list, even though the game basically does not exist anymore, the nostalgia texts make me put this at like B. So if, so if you're, you're not, not a fan, fan of, of the words, words pink fiction, goat, raw, fire, then click off the video bro. Jokes aside, every time I think of Roblox One Piece games, this game will be like the first game that will come to mind and I always remember it as being like the greatest One Piece game ever. And now that I'm finally coming back to it, I'm actually amazed. Cause the combat in this game bro, it's like genuinely, genuinely so, so, so fucking shit bro. Which I guess isn't so surprising considering it's a Roblox game from 2016. And while the combat might be a little ass, the Devil Fruit selection in this game is actually pretty cool. The game has about 40 Devil Fruits, all with about 4 and 5 moves. I feel like when you're this many Devil Fruits deep, you're probably just gonna add whatever the fuck you see on the One Piece Wikipedia. Cause who wakes up one day and goes like, Yo, 
let me add the shroom shroom fruit to my game. No joke though, some of the devils in this game are actually really cool and have some really fun quirks. Like how you can like build a staircase using the barrier fruit or how you can like slice buildings in half with the string fruit, which for some reason made me geek out and I don't even really know why. <laughs> And outside of the combat, it doesn't feel like the game aged that badly, you know? Like, I feel some of the devil fruits in this game would be considered pretty okay for today's standards. Except for Phoenix. Look at this dumbass devil fruit. <laughs> Anyways, on the tier list, I actually had a lot of fun playing this again. So I'm gonna put it at, like, B tier. The animations. The balancing. The gameplay. The models. The whole game itself, bro. This shit is so ass, bro. I'm just so confused at how I was so addicted to this game back in like 2018. Like I remember making about 30 anime cost videos in a span of three months. And nowadays you'd be lucky if you got two in that time frame, to be <laughs> honest with you. The game itself though, I don't even know. I played for like an hour and genuinely had no fun. The whole game plays like one of those anime simulator games you'd see on the front page a couple years back and it's definitely balanced like one of them. Also, honestly, I really got nothing else to say other than this game is like shit for my bot. And while we're at it, how about we start talking about the real Battleground games? I feel like it should be studied how ABA has been out for almost six years now and can still manage a consistent player base. You know, tell me if I'm wrong, but this game is kind of like the smash melee of anime games. I mean, both games are like janky as fuck, but both also have like an incredibly loyal fan base that just likes to dick eat the games. I remember playing this game for the first time back in 2018 and finally experiencing a half decent combat system. I swear to God, never thought about touching Anime Cross 2 ever after, bro. Now the game itself, I find it pretty crazy how much content this game has. I mean, it has give or take like 130 characters, which for any game in general is pretty fucking insane. And the combat too is like, you know, pretty fun, but maybe a little bit unbalanced, you know, just a little bit. People tend to get mad over ranked matches, but for me, I actually don't really give a fuck about ranked matches. I've never really taken them seriously. But for some reason though, put me in a public server for 3 minutes and I'm probably ready to Kurt Cobain myself. But I feel like ABA is the type of game you should never take seriously. Just a game for you to go in and fuck around for a little bit, unless you want the Vegeta hairline by the time you're 16. Overall though, even though some of us like to hate on this game, just know when that new ABA update drops, we'll, we'll be, be there. there. I'm pretty sure there's someone out there who wants to know my opinion on the strongest background, right? No? Okay. Honestly, I actually really like this game. I think it's pretty fun, but it also gets awfully repetitive after a while. You know, this game is kind of like... Slop. One thing I love about this game though is how branded the average player is. Whenever I'm playing the game though, my favorite thing to do is just mess around with random players. Like this one time I started teaming on this dude and obviously, you know, he got mad at me, right? So for some reason I just started gaslighting him into thinking he was the one who actually jumped me. Stop the caps, bro! You are the one caps. So this one time I was like destroying this one kid by playing very passive, okay? And for some reason he got agitated at me. So he just started insulting me and calling me a really bad player. And because of that, I spent like 15 minutes trolling him in broken English, right? And after a while I got bored and just asked him to be friends and he was like, Okay, all is good now. Then we proceeded to play Blocks first together. And this is the main reason as to why I love this game so much. It's because of how dumb the fucking community is. I also found out this game has a pretty deep combo system. And I low-key wanted to hop in a private server to try and learn these combos, right? But then it hit me. Why the fuck would I be labbing up in Saitama Battlegrounds? Instead of, you know, a real fighting game. Alright, I'm lying. I actually tried these combos and failed very badly. <laughs> Anyways, it's a pretty fun game. I really like it. I'll probably put it at like A tier. And while we're at it, can somebody tell me why every other TSB ripoff feels so shit to play? I swear to god, I spent like two hours playing Sources Battleground and I came out looking like Yuji. I was also going to review these games on top of TSB, but at this point, bro, I'd rather play Goofy Arena. 